Hello there and welcome back to my tutorial. Today I will show how to use Firebase database. It is a simple way of creating database and managing data. Firebase is highly scalable. So let's get started. Uh, I have opened google.com. I just type in Firebase and hit enter. Select the link where it says firebase.google.com. Uh, if you don't have Google account, go ahead and create the Google account and continue later. So up above, we will select go to console. And here you will see your projects. If you don't, if you have never used Firebase, you will just see this part. So here just select add project and name it FireDB. And I will say FireDB2 because I already have FireDB and say create project this part will take some time so until then let's create our xcode project we will say create new xcode project single view application i will say fire db and hit next and save it wherever you like make sure you remember the path where you save the project because we will be needing uh, we will be needing the path later so create and copy this bundle identifier and go back to uh, the browser and here uh, the project is ready so here we will say add firebase to your app your ios app and here under ios bundle id we will just paste in the bundle id we, which we just copied and leave uh, this both text fields blank and say register app once you are done with that part uh, second step is to download this google service info playlist uh, i have I guess I have already downloaded one so I'll just remove it so okay I have one here so I'll just send it here and download it again and once it's downloaded uh, uh, click this arrow and say show in finder and just drag and drop this file in your project uh, folder let me do one thing just put it in front front and drag this over here under info.plist and copy items if needed and add target finish so we are done with this part so let's go back to our browser and hit continue so here it says add firebase sdk uh, for this step uh, you will be needing knowledge of coca pods and terminal if you don't know how to use coca pods or terminal make sure you google it or watch some other video on youtube uh, and I will show the path right now, but you will be needing co cocoa pods. And if you need cocoa pods, just say cocoa pods and select the first link and scroll down. And you just need to paste this in your terminal. So this is my terminal. I'll just paste and hit enter. And uh, it will ask you to enter the password and just enter your max password. Uh, I already have cocoa pods. So to see which version of pods you have just say pod dash dash version and it will show you the version i am on 1.3.1 okay so cool uh, so first of all let's cd into our project file so i'll cd into youtube ls i'll cd into swift 4 oh i messed up so i'll say cd swift 4 Okay, oh yeah, it's space <laughs> Swift 4 and ls and uh, this time I will cd into our file app so which is file db and ls again so I'll clear this ls and here we will uh, run the pro uh, code which is pod init so this will initialize our pod and it's done if you ls now uh, there are three three files uh, it's like two folders and one file so we will open pod file pod file and this will open up this so i'll increase the size here as well and okay we need to install two pods so here we will first of all copy this part which says pod firebase code and where is our text file here it is hit tab and paste it over here uh, hit enter and tab again say pod and we will just write firebase database uh, make sure you uh, write the second part as well which is necessary so hit command save for a couple of times and close the pod file and here we will say pod update now this uh, step will take 
time uh, according to your bandwidth so wait for a couple of seconds or a minute and it will be done so it's installing So one more thing, uh, we will not be needing this project file anymore. So just quit this and here the pod is installed, say clear and ls once more. And here you will see like bunch of stuff. So from now on, we will be using this part, uh, which says firebase, firedb.exe workspace. We will not be using Xcode proj, okay? The one which we always use. So here my Xcode project is running. So for one last time, I will go back to my browser and for initialization code, we need to, uh, I'll show you how to do that. So just go back to your project file. And uh, for first time, just hit command B so that everything is built and we know that we did stuff right. And this will take a minute or two. So go to your app delegate, your projects app delegate and try importing Firebase. If you did everything right, you should be able to do this. Import Firebase and under first function, uh, did finish launching with option. We will say Firebase app dot configure. Okay, and build it again. If you did everything right, this should work. So we are done with this part. So over here, uh, okay, close this and go to database. And if you uh, select get started, you will see this data part. First of all, go to rules and this is read and write. So this is the part where you give like authorization, uh, who can write and who can read. So for now, for this app, we will just say true to both. So true for read and this basically means that everyone can read and everyone can write. Okay, publish. And this will give you warning that your security rules are defined as public. It doesn't matter right now, just dismiss, okay? And go back to data. Uh, if you say add here and say like name and value you say Yash and just hit enter, this will be your child. If you do like one more add here and say name again and say like Rahul and enter, you have like two names over here. So like basically, oh, where did the last one go? Okay. I don't know why I don't like see the last one, but let's do it again, name, Yash, and hit add. Oh. Okay, I don't know, it's overwriting my child notes. But anyways, uh, this is uh, the Firebase data structure follows a tree hierarchy. So basically whenever you add a, it works on like root and child node. So let's get started. And first of all, we need to add our data to this tree. So for that, go to your view controller and we will import Firebase database over here. And we need two variables. Uh, let's do with one variable right now. We will say db reference and this will be of type database database reference and add a question mark so for for now we are trying to add data to our database so we will say db reference equal to database dot database dot reference okay and let's add our first child node so we will say db reference dot child and we will say name uh, let's say name and child by auto id uh, every child has an id for now we will generate it automatically and we will say dot set value and hit enter and just pass in some constants so we will say yash and copy this once more and paste it over here and here we will say rahul and let's run the application and see if it works or not, okay? So this should probably work and hit play. So once the application runs, we will see our data over here in this database. So the application is loading. Oh, uh, iPhone is running right now. So 
So, okay, now we have the data over here, uh, over here under our name section. So let's fetch the data and print it on the screen. So for fetching the data, we need one more variable, which will be db handle. And we will say, this will be database handle and question mark once more. And this, uh, after this part, just comment, retrieve data. And we will say db handle equal to db reference dot child and this child will be the same name as this part because we need the names so we will say name and we will say dot observe and for uh, event type is an enum so hit dot and you will get like bunch of options so when child is added changed moved or removed for now we will observe child added and with data and this is completion handler so just say snapshot and here we will say let name equal to we will say snapshot dot value as downcast it we will try to downcast it as string and here we will say string question mark because if there is no value uh, it will just print out nil so here just say print and we will say name and here it's colon and let's run the application for one last time and it's loading and we will this is our console so okay here we got our names so which is optional yash and optional rahul okay okay somehow it's oh okay okay so we have our data over here we got So, uh, there are uh, two, okay, uh, let's remove, let's remove the whole uh, data and so that we can try it for one last time. Uh, we had a duplicate because of, uh, we ran the application two times. So let's run it for one last time. And, and uh, one more thing is that, okay, it's here. So the best part is, if the child does not exist, Firebase will automatically create your child. So that's the fun part. Okay, so here we got our data. So guys, that's how you create Firebase database and insert and fetch data. I will get into complex stuff in some another video. So for now, if you have any questions, post them in comments. If you like my video, thumbs up and please subscribe for future videos.